Hey everyone, it's the Derbo. Playing Will Die Alone. Warning, this game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Please do not take this lightly. Will Die Alone may not be suitable for you if you are affected by any of the following themes. Anxiety, depression, suicide, self-harm, or abuse. Furthermore, the above list is not 100% exhaustive. For those with extra concern for their mental health, our recommendation of the safest approach is to avoid playing Will Die Alone, and I would assume that also includes avoid watching somebody play Will Die Alone. We trust that given your understanding of your own mental health, you are able to make the decision that is right for you. By playing this game, you agree that you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Thank you for your consideration and for staying safe. Dear Miss Moreni, congratulations. You've been chosen to work with us at Do It Corp to help make the world a better place. I know this is a serious game, but the name of Do It Corp makes me think of Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> it's not just Do It Corp, it's Do It Corp. With us, you will have to make critical decisions to improve people's lives. We count on you to deliver. Your job starts in two days. You'll be assigned to Tom, your manager, for the time you will stay with us. See you soon. Do It Corp. You know you can't refuse or you will put your family in danger, so be wise, accept, and keep them safe. Um, I guess I'll accept. Protesters are riding next to Dewitt Corpse building this morning. They're protesting like they've been doing for the past years against the memory deleting program. We interviewed their leader, Erwin. This morning, and as he always says to news channels, all they want is to keep the protest peaceful and only demand change for a better world. As we all know, the riots gained momentum in the last year after a big name in the government got a wrong memory deleted, creating even more controversy about how effective the program is. When we asked Erwin his opinion on this, he was very straightforward. I've been telling you guys for years how bad some people were hurting over this program. I'm glad you guys are finally opening your eyes, but it bothers me how it happened only when someone with a big name was affected by it. With that, Erwin left us, and he went back to protesting with the others. The protest ended peacefully. I hope Erwin can fix this. We deserve better. I have a memo. I remember that protest like it was yesterday. That's where I met Sam. I miss her so much. Hey, Alex. It's Tom, your new boss. Welcome to Do It Corp. Hopefully, we will help so many people together. Let me explain what you have to do here. Each day, you'll get a file from me with a client. Each client, of course, will have a problem to fix. After reading about the problem, you will also get insights into their life in general, both past and present, in their bio. Then you'll see some memories in form of Polaroids and their future before your changes. Please keep in mind that those are real people with real lives and we want to try to not destroy their future. Hope it's all clear, Tom. P.S. The computer we gave you isn't too powerful, so please close what you have opened before opening new things. Of course, sound doesn't work. Beth, 20 years old, female. Find the right memory to delete to fix her problem. Don't let me down. 
So her future right now, she will break up with Susan, she will start dating Sarah, cheat on her, and move on to another partner. After graduation, hey, that's this year, 2022! So as of right now, uh, she is going back to her hometown to find Hannah, but she won't be able to find her again. The disappearance of her best friend and her unsuccessful love life will be too much. She will quit her work due to stress, and she will go back to her father's place. She will eventually decide to give up on love and focus entirely on her work. She will die alone. Clyde wants to stop cheating on every partner she gets. After leaving her hometown and her very first best friend, Hannah. Oh, okay, that's who Hannah is. Uh, Beth is now studying at the university, and she found a new girlfriend, Susan. She's been trying really hard not to cheat, but has recently started an affair. Sometimes she even brags about how much she doesn't want to cheat, but she can't help herself. Even if they drifted apart, Beth always calls Hannah every time something happens, even if Hannah never picks up. Her friends are worried about how obsessed Beth is over her ex-friend, but she always brushes it off. Beth now wants to stop cheating on every partner she will have. She got really close with one of her friends, Hannah. Her parents divorced. That sounds like one worth deleting. Had a hard time making friends. Able to get attention from her friends. Probably the divorce. Okay. I thought that it was gonna show me what happened. Hey Alex, it's Sam. Hope everything is good down there. I know you probably feel very lonely, but please don't forget that I'm always here for you and I miss you very much. The house isn't the same without you. Anyway, your parents also say hi and they understand why you accepted this job. We are all glad you're keeping us safe. Hope you're staying safe too. Love you, Sam. Sam, I miss you. Okay. I hope... I hope that was right. Hey Alex, I don't know if you know me, but I'm Erwin, and well, I need your help. We don't have too much time, so listen, I need you to help me close this hell of a program. The work is easy, you just have to pick the wrong memory each day, not just a random one, but the closest one to the right choice. I know it probably won't be easy, but listen, you have to do it for everyone we lost, for Vince. So I can choose. Ah, oh, I can choose. Cheat day. 2019, Susan will break up with her. 2022, Beth will be confused for a long time about what happened with her parents, so she will go back to her hometown to find some answers. After graduation, she will go back to her hometown to find Hannah, but she won't be able to find her again. Not being able to find an answer, she will call her parents who will tell her the truth. The confusion about not remembering an important part of her life will be too much and she will quit her work due to stress. She will cut all the connections with everyone, not knowing what was real and what wasn't anymore. After years of paranoia and loneliness, her parents will hospitalize her. She will die alone in the hospital. No! I thought that was like... Oh, shit. Fuck. Today we have some incredible scoops from inside Dick Corp itself. An anonymous source called our news channel today and talked with Mira, our most beloved reporter. My one true passion, I always loved art and portraying emotions through it. Oh, how much I'd love to paint something now. Uh, hi, Tom. As you gather, I'll check on you every day. Not allowed to see your results. Scientific studies showed that peer pressure won't help in this job, so I'll only know how you did the last day. Mm. Anyway, there's a new client today. Marina needs your help, and hopefully you'll be able to deliver. We trust you, and we hope you won't let us down. Have a good day, Tom, and do it, Corp. Okay. Alright. 
The client wants to get past her unhealthy social media life and go out more. After a great childhood full of love, joy, and a lot of best friends, Marina started high school where she was getting bullied constantly by her classmates. After she removed herself from her group of friends, now Marina spends most of her time on social media, interacting with her friends from all over the world. After she got catfished, Marina decided it was time to move on from the internet life and find a way to create meaningful connections in the real world. 2021, she will find love online. 23, she will find out she, he's a catfish. 25, she will never try to reach out to her middle school friends. 2030, she will decide to start catfishing too as revenge on her first true love. 41, she will never find love or friendships. 43, she will die alone. She got bullied in school for the first time. Thought her friends were talking behind her back. Discovered social media and gave up real life to focus on her internet life. If I have to only do one, I feel like I should do this one because this led to her leaving her group of friends, which then led to her discovering social media. So let's delete that one. A new message from Sam. Hey Alex, did you see the news? Maybe something will finally change and do it will close for good. I know it must have been hard after what happened with Vince, but please stay strong. Soon it will end. Memory programs cult out here is getting insane. They're really trying in any way possible to convince people to delete their memories. I hope this will end soon and Erwin will be able to do something. Even protesters are getting tired of being calm and collected all the time. Feels like everyone is reaching their limits. I was thinking that after all these ends, we could go somewhere nice. Maybe somewhere with really warm weather and a very lovely beach. I miss you so much, Sam. I know, Sam, and she's scared. Hope she's staying safe. <clears throat> uh, okay, so, incredible scoops from inside Divit Corp itself. Anonymous source called our news channel today and talked with Mira, our most beloved reporter. The source works as an employee at Divit Corp, specifically in the memory program, and they had not good things to say to us. It's all bad, the source stated. The conditions we work in are bad, and now that we are getting more people in mistakes, now that we are getting more people in, mistakes are something that happens even more than deleting the right memories. We are destroying people's lives, and I need to escape this. I'm risking my life saying this, but please don't trust what Dewey Corp is doing. They're not to be trusted. Mira couldn't get any other pieces of information before the call abruptly closed. We will let you know when something new will come. That's... A lot. The truth will come out from this. Okay. She will find love online again. She will find out he's a catfish. She will decide to ask for help from her middle school friends. They will decide to help her. Marina will start going out with her friends. She will start having a healthy relationship with social media. She will find love and will stay close to her friends until her death. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's a longer life, too. Fuck yeah. Got it. That's a good future. Before our usual news feed, we just want to say that Mira disappeared. After the article went online, we don't know if she's okay, but Mira, please come back. Back to our regularly scheduled broadcasting. <clears throat> Protesters are rioting against Do It Corp. The reason is that deleting memories isn't safe for people, and it should be illegal to be able to reshape yourself. The protest started as a peaceful one until some extremists decided that words weren't going to help enough. They started attacking the police, which resulted in the police attacking back. Irwin, the leader of the peaceful protesters, said during an interview that he didn't want any of this to happen and he wishes people could just see their reasons and find a solution to something morally wrong, as Irwin put it. He hopes it will last, it will be the last protest ending up like this. But will it be like this? Lately, we have seen more and more protests ending with attacks than smiles. Fuck! No. This shouldn't happen. I hope Sam wasn't there. Please let Sam be okay. This was my first day at Dude. Wait, why is this here? 
What's going on? Am I gonna delete one of my own memories at some point? Hey Alex, listen. I guess you saw the news of the reporter. That's bad, and whatever will come of it will be, of course. Whatever will come of it will be, of course, fake. We don't tolerate these types of things, and we are trying to find out who's stupid enough to do this. Of course, we don't have anything to do with your disappearance. I hope you know that. Please be careful, and don't spread anything fake. I think what was in your contract letter was enough. Don't waste this opportunity. Tom. I knew he was just pretending to be nice to me. His true colors are showing. Alright. Jack. 35 years old. Be careful of what you will pick. Client wants to get past the sadness that overcame his life. After he was abandoned by his single mother the day he was born, Jack had a rough childhood in which he couldn't find a stable and loving new family. He is now unemployed and living by the day. His track record didn't help him find a good, stable job, and on top of that, Jack suffers from depression, and it seems like nothing is working. Now Jack is tired of living like that, and he's ready to succeed in life and get past the sadness. Alright, so next year, he will get fired from his current job. 2021, he will lose his house. 36, the depression for his unsuccessful life will be too much to handle. 43, he will start using medications to numb his mind. 46... He will overdose, overdose and will die alone. So, I don't think we can really take away the memory of his mother leaving him in an orphanage. Because that's that can't be like a memory memory. And it's not like we're changing that event. We're just erasing it from his mind. But like, he's gonna remember that he grew up in an orphanage. He didn't have a stable, loving family for all his childhood. That one would probably be the one to delete, but let's look. At, he instigated a fight with his classmates. He got diagnosed with depression. Well, you know, if you forget you have depression, then there's no more depression. No. Um, probably the, sta the lack of a stable, loving family. Or the, f or the fight. Probably the stable loving family. Oh, I'm so scared. We're gonna go with the stable loving family. Um, yeah. Hey Alex, I'm so worried. Everything is going bad here. Erwin is losing control, and I just heard about the news reporter. I know you didn't say anything to her, but please don't do anything stupid, okay? I know you want do it to close as much as anyone else. We know you. Anyone else we know, but your life is at risk, and you work for them. Please, please, Alex, don't do anything stupid. I need you back home. We still have so many experiences to live together. I love you and be safe. I know she's worried about, but after Vince. I don't know what's the right thing to do. At least she's okay. Okay, let's see what happened. 2019. Okay, that stayed the same. He will get fired from his current job. He will go to therapy to try to fix his problems. He will reconnect with his classmates and apologize. The depression with his friends and the therapist will be a bearable thing to overcome. He will start dating Sarah. He will live with Sarah until the end. Much better future, bro. Yes. You conquered that depression, man. Day 10. This is toward the end. Yeah, we're almost almost on our last day. Oh, no. Mira was found dead. Hi, everyone. We just wanted to inform you that the police found Mira's body in the river next to the city. We just want to send our condolences to Mira's family and friends. She knew discovering its secrets was dangerous, but she wasn't the kind of person who was going to be stopped by anyone until she found the truth. We thank her for all the work she did, and we hope that nothing like this will ever happen again. We will get to our normal schedule tomorrow. Thank you for understanding. Would do it really? Would do it really do something like that? I don't know what to think anymore.
I remember that protest like it was yesterday. That's where I met Sam. I miss her so much. This is getting weird. This happened a week ago. Why is it here? Mr. Dewitt. Morning, everyone. This morning, I'll deliver the usual message instead of your manager. First, I'd like to say how glad I am for the work you all do each day and for making Do It Corp what it is. It wouldn't be like that without each and every one of you. Now to the important matter. The news reporter, her name was Mira Herrera, was found dead today. It's sad, of course, but the memory program is safe and sound. We found who started this foolish rumor, and he will get the treatment he deserves. In the meantime, enjoy your day and hard work. Mr. Dewitt. Was it Tom? Was it Tom? We can't make mistakes. Be wise. Client wants to stop having toxic behaviors in her relationships. After a childhood spent in a little city near the seaside, Hannah met her soon-to-be best friend, Beth. During the same time, her parents divorced because of her mom's jealousy. The bond... Excuse me. The bond with Beth, unlike the one that her parents had, was unbreakable until Beth moved away and Hannah was left alone. After Hannah realized Beth found new friends... Oh, shit! This is Beth! And Hannah! Oh, fuck! Oh, no, 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 no! After Hannah realized Beth found new friends, she cut her out of her life and found a new best friend. Every relationship she had consisted of a constant need of attention for her and her only... And it was always too much for everyone. Now Hannah wants to stop having toxic behaviors in her relationships. Oh, fuck. She'll move away from the city. She'll try to find a new best friend. All her relationships will end up with the other person ghosting her. She'll go back to her dad's place. She will die alone. This is, this is Hannah, Hannah. The the one ah, oh, Beth Beth's best friend. We we worked on Beth before. She saw how jealous her mom was for dad. Maybe if we deleted that. But the last time I deleted somebody's parents, they were confused and it didn't do any better. She met Beth. We don't want to get rid of that. Her new best friend ghosted her. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the jealousy one. Hey babe, listen out here, it's bad. People are rioting and Erwin can't stop them. Every protest is now violent and after the news reporter, it's going down. The cult is getting stronger and they keep harassing everyone. Vince's family left the city. They told me to tell you that they're sorry, but they couldn't wait any longer. I hope we will be able to leave this hellhole the second you leave this shitty job. We deserve better. You do. I miss and love you so much, Sam. Sam, please stay strong. I'm coming back. Just a few more days... And I'll be home. We will be okay. I'm scared. She will move away from the city. She will try to find a new best friend. She will create a meaningful relationship with her best friend. Her best friend will introduce her to, to her soon-to-be boyfriend. She will get married. She will live the rest of her life with her husband. Yes! I'll stay. Dewitt is getting more control than ever these days. We are reporting an incredible quantity of new people signing up for the memory program. Protests are slowly fading away, and the few people that are still happening... The few that are still happening always turn violent, resulting in fewer people agreeing with Erwin and his crew. The last time we talked with Erwin, he was optimistic about a good outcome for his side of the story, but he decided he won't release any new interviews from now on. Do it. CEO is pleased with how the business is going, and he's sure people are going to be happy about their lives after they fix their problems. Do it. CEO also gave us an incredible donation to keep the news channel alive, and they're offering a discount for the program to all our readers. Trust the process. That's all for today. How did this happen so fast? Maybe it's too late to fix this. So, this is where replayability comes in. And ethics. Because I'm assuming this is like end game because it says last day, unless I have to 
unless it's like, oh, you play more days. You, if you choose the right memories to delete, then do it gets more successful, which is what you don't want to do. But you don't want to fuck up other people's lives just to shut down this corporation because these are real people and they're real lives that you're fucking with. This is this is the last this is the day I lost Vince. Do it. It's fucking with me. What did I get myself into? Hey, it's Tom. Hello, Alex. As you realize, today's your last day. We appreciate the work you did for us, but every choice, of course, has a consequence. Based on how many mistakes you made during your time with us, you'll have to delete the same amount of memory from yourself. After some problems with past workers, we now automatically delete the memory of you working here. Whether you enjoyed it or not, it will be gone by tomorrow. For the rest, it's up to you to choose which memories are worth deleting and which aren't. I know it must be hard for you, but do what you do best. It's just deleting memories. Your job is always... Take care, Tom. P.S. I saw your file. It was me that deleted Vince's wrong memory, and for that, I apologize. I was still young and not very good at this. So he was the one that destroyed Vince's life. I can't believe this. It's me. I have to delete my own memories. My memories, they were here all along. How did I not realize what was happening? I realized it! Last one, retirement plan. Remember, you can select and deselect memories as many times as you want. Wait, can I select multiple memories? Oh, right. Okay, anyway. Uh, choose what- oh, okay, because I only made, I guess, two errors? Okay. Okay, I see. I gotcha. Alex was born in a little suburb city where she spent most of her time with family and friends. After the discovery of a way to delete memories, Alex saw the world change in front of her eyes. Everyone close to her was eager to try it out, and she slowly started leaving friends behind. Her best friend was the first one that got a me wrong memory deleted, and that event ruined both their lives. After the that event, she pr started protesting against the memory program, and that's where she met Sam, her girlfriend. They started dating three years ago, and they're going for the fourth. Now Alex lives a peaceful life in the countryside, and she comes back to the city just to protest. Ooh, it has my future! She will go back home to Sam. She will think about her friend Vince. She will not never participate in protests anymore. She will start sharing her work experience online, creating problems for Do It Corp. She will marry Sam and build a family with her. She will spend the rest of her life with Sam until her death. Okay. We cannot delete the memory of Vince, because that is what led her to protest, and that's where she met Sam. Wait, no, we can delete the memory of it. That's right, we're not deleting the event, just the memory. So it might be good to delete the memory, but that could still cause a rift with Sam. Uh, definitely don't want to forget meeting Sam. Start university to become an artist, that's her passion. She saw on the news how bad the protests are getting. That's probably the best one. That's probably best case scenario. Oh, uh, but then she might die in a protest. All of these are so bad to delete, you don't want to fuck up. This is where replayability comes in again. Oh, fuck. Okay, definitely don't want to forget... Okay, so it's either this or forget Vince. Alright, we'll, we'll do the protests. We don't want to forget Vince. The job is done. Thanks, Alex. Enjoy your life and turn off the computer now. Alex, I don't know what is happening, but the cult came to our house and said to be aware of tomorrow a new Alex is coming. What the fuck does that mean? Listen, I know you want us safe, but I'm not sure you're safe there. There's only one day left, so please stay safe and please come back to me. I miss you and I need you. I will be waiting at home 
with your favorite drink and your favorite food. I promise I won't cook this time. I love you. Stay safe. I want to leave this hellhole with you, not without. Love, Sam. I hope I will still remember you, whatever I choose. I'll still remember her. I just hope I don't die in a protest. Alright, here we go. Yep, I'm dead in a protest. She'll die in the protest after it turns violent. Damn it! But I didn't die alone. Fuck. I knew it. That was a nice short game. Alright, well, thank you everybody so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Um, luckily, this wasn't very heavy uh, in terms of like mental health and all that. So we're good there. Always remember, despite what this game might tell you, your future is unwritten. So make good choices now and make it a good future. You have the power to make your life one worth living. Even if you feel stuck, and sometimes you have to be stuck for a very short amount of time, even if it feels like forever right now, sometimes you have to be stuck, but once an opportunity comes, fucking take it. You can turn your life around. It is never too late. Have a happy whatever.